This same map has a nice and clear layout, which makes it easy to start your training right away. It's a small map that runs well on low NPCs. The bots come from two different directions, some from above and some from below. They move smoothly while making some random stops and changes in direction. This makes it difficult to predict their next move. This is ideal for training your tracking skills, which you use in competitive matches where you do your best to keep your crosshair on the enemy target. Behind you, there is a panel consisting of various weapons and settings. Here, you can choose from the most popular rifles, pistols, and snipers. Next to the weapons, you can adjust the number of bots and change whether they carry armor or not. Let's talk about two ways you can practice on this map. First, you can start with one of the main rifles. The default settings is a simple way to warm up your aim before moving on to the more challenging aspects of training. Feel free to use different shooting techniques to kill the bots, such as tapping, bursting, and spraying. You can also combine standing still and moving around. Once you feel comfortable, you can turn around and add more running bots. In this case, I chose to add an additional four bots. Next, you can choose the Deagle Pistol. One way to use it is to shoot as quickly as possible without losing the ability to aim accurately. You shouldn't shoot as fast as you can, but around 110 beats per minute. Aim for the chest, where you will need three shots to kill it. This allows you to improve your accuracy and speed while getting used to the pistol's recoil. After practicing this for a while, you can switch to shooting a single shot in the body to slow down the bullet's movement and then aim directly for the head. This way, you can practice adjusting your aim if missing the first shot and get used to what happens to the enemy movement. Besides the two ways of practicing, you can also create your own routine. For example, use the AWP to practice your flicking and tracking skills, or use the USP to work on your one-tap skills. Just remember that practice should be fun and engaging, so find a routine that works for you and makes you feel motivated. Please find the download link for the map below.